What's going on guys, ZKiwi here, coming at you with another video from Armith 3. In this video, we're going to do a tutorial on one of the fastest ways to a million dollars. And in this specific one, I'm going to be going over the Scotch Run method. So this will enable you to get a fast track towards your prominent status. And I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. All right, so getting into it, the first step you're going to want to do is to pay off your bounty. This is going to prevent any bounty hunters or police officers being able to track you or getting in the way of progress. You're definitely going to want to do this. It's one of the most detrimental steps in this entire process. So make sure you go talk to a police officer, be compliant. That way you can get at least a half ticket. Um, it's definitely help you out as far as, you know, not having to pay you know out the blood as far as getting that bounty paid off. Next step is to buy a debit card. A lot of people overlook this or think of it as something as completely uh, as assumed. Um, but, you know, definitely remember to do it. Go an ATM, pay the $2,500 for a debit card, you know, and then go to the next step, which is going to be buy essentials. Uh, so you're going to want to carry all backpack, which is going to enable you to hold 96 storage, including with the debit card. Um, and this is going to enable you to hold 32 of each ingredient. Then you're going to want night vision for low light situations. And then you're going to want a red goal, which is going to give you uh, unlimited stamina for at least for, at, for three minutes. Um, then you're going to want to buy a rook or any copper weapon with these three mags. Okay, so this is gonna be for, you know, fighting off any offenders that might come by. Then you want a box truck. This box truck is gonna have the exact storage you're gonna to need to be able to get ingredients to and from your house. Then you're gonna want a house, uh, three storage with three scotch barrels. Um, and this is gonna, you know, come into play a lot later on. So of course you're gonna to go to the general store to buy your night vision. That night vision, it's gonna be about 100 to 150 bucks. So you're gonna pay that there. And then you're going to go to the clothing store, which is right next door, and you're going to buy the carry-all backpack. Don't shortchange yourself and get something smaller. You absolutely need the carry-all backpack for this process, so definitely buy that. Um, it doesn't matter the color. It's entirely your choice. Following this, you're going to buy 134 water, 134 yeast from the market. Um, if you want to buy more than that, that's fine. You need 333 of each to max out and bring your house. Remember, each ingredient uh, weighs one. You have 350 storage inside of that box truck, so be cognizant of that when, when buying the ingredients from the market. Then you're going to drive to your house, such as I did and crashed into my stairs right there. Uh, you're going to park, uh, pull out your ingredients, and you're going to pull them into the scotch house. Now this scotch house, I have three. One with two scotch barrels and a storage container. I highly recommend you definitely need the storage container to be able to store your ingredients to come to and from when you're getting barley, water, and yeast before you make your actual scotch run. Um, so that, that's definitely important. So you at least need one um, with the storage container and two scotch barrels. So a three storage house. Any more than that is just going to you know increase the amount of return that you get from running the scotch. Um, again, for me, I have two uh, other scotch houses with uh, three scotch barrels in each. And this specific one, I have two scotch barrels in a storage. So now I'm going to put the rest of the water and yeast in here, 134 of each. And once I finish that, I'm going to actually go and start gathering the barley, which you'll see me do here. All right, so now a lot of people say the best place is to you know gather cocaine, but I like to go down towards the uh, chop shop. Um, cocaine is a little more dangerous because you know, obviously cocaine is a high traffic area and you're more likely to get shot out there. Also, when people see you gathering barley there, they know exactly what you're doing. You're running scotch. So if you go to chop shop, you have a less you have less lesser likelihood of being um, caught you know picking barley, which is step four. So again, go to uh, the chop house. You're gonna go along the coast here, down this road, off in DP2. You're gonna come on the outside of the coast here into the grass and you're gonna park. And you're gonna get out and you're gonna start picking barley. In this specific area, there's about 300 to 350 barley. Um, so you're gonna go up to these bushes and start gathering. Make sure when you scroll wheel, you don't do it too quickly or you're gonna accidentally pick berries. Not a big deal and it's actually good if you're running low on food and water. Um, but it wastes a barley bush that you could have used uh, to fill up your inventory. So about 26 minutes later, uh, you're going to fill up your entire inventory of barley. And I'm talking 333 barley that you're going to have. So you're going to put it all in the truck. And again, you're going to have to have an empty truck, 350 storage, 333 would not be a problem. Um, it'll fill up your entire box truck. Now, when you come by, you're going to see you know it right here i run into a prowler um of course it's you are by chop shop which is an illegal area so you definitely have that risk of people coming up but it's still it's a lot less likely than cocaine now i'm going to show the storage here i have 333 barley in 26 minutes i gathered 
enough materials for 333 scotch. You're gonna go back to the market by, you know, the opposite or the um, difference in the amount that you need in water and yeast, and you're gonna do that. Step five is to scout the still. And this is another very important step so you don't get shot while trying to run the scotch. So you're gonna go to the general store and you're gonna buy a pair of binoculars is 150 bucks. Um, the key binding for binoculars to pull it out is B, if you don't know, not to insult your intelligence, but you press B, you pull out the binoculars, and you'll be able to scout out the still. And I'll show you here in a second. Once you buy the binoculars and you recognize what the key binding is for it, you're gonna go to the vehicle garage and you're gonna pull out an off-road vehicle, something cheap, so if somebody is there and kills you, it's not too much of a loss, whereas if you brought your box truck out full of scotch, you're not gonna you know, lose as much as that. So here I'm pulling out a four wheel drive Jeep. I'm gonna get in the Jeep and I'm gonna mark on the map where the scotch still is or the spirit is still. So when you get there, um, typically if you can do this like sometime not too deep in a reset, you'll be able to recognize this more immediately. But go up north and mark the spirit distillery on the map and begin your drive. From Kamala, it'll take you about seven minutes to get there. This is Abdera, the town right outside of spirit distillery. I'm coming outside of it. You're gonna go straight out of the road here and you're going to turn left on a dirt road the first one on the left now you're going to drive that route and then you're going to come to this tree that i'll show you here in a second now just be aware um typically you want to do this within 15 to 20 minutes after the reset uh just to ensure that nobody is there but if it's deeper in a reset you'll be able to recognize that people have traveled in and out of scotch more visibly so i'll show you exactly what that means here in a second so I park near this tree um, and then I hop out and I run to the spot where I drop off my, my overwatch or my security, um, which I'll show you later on in the video. But you're gonna run to around these rocks in this bush where these uh, signs start and you can see this the spirit distillery here. It's that house off in the distance. You're gonna open up your binoculars and you're gonna look at the door. Now that's a positive sign the door is shut. Normally after a reset, all the doors across the map shut. So if the door is shut, it typically means Nobody has traveled in and out of that building, which indicates that nobody is in the building. You're gonna check these areas, high traffic areas. And when people do run scotch, that's where you park your truck. And that's normally where I park in those bushes over there. But you're gonna do a quick, you know, 180 um, to see if any vehicles are parked in any of those areas to ensure that you are not going down into a trap. Right now we're clear, so we're good to go. So we're gonna go back to the truck and drive back to Kavala, pull out our box truck, and step six is run the scotch. Now, you're going to go back to the house where you have all your, your scotch ingredients in storage, 333 of each. Again, I paid the difference in the water and um, yeast uh, as far as barley. So I have 333 of each to fill up that container completely. So now you're going to take all the ingredients and you're going to fill up your box truck with it and you're going to begin your run. So I'm going to keep going back and forth until I'm finished filling up my truck and then we're going to head down to scotch and get this thing going. So now, again, here's where I drop off my scout. You'll see where I drop him off, and he's got a 7.62 rifle or something comparable. He's using AK-12 in this instance. Um, I haven't ran into a whole lot of issues. I did have somebody come. Normally, I try to be friendly with it, but you never know in these illegal areas. So normally, I have to shoot first and ask questions later. I know that's kind of, you know, not the coolest thing to do, but you got to be careful when running this amount of scotch. It's a lot of money, and you've taken a lot of effort into getting where you are now so you don't want to jeopardize that by being too friendly so again this is where i'm going to park my box truck as i you know was overwatching during the scout process of the video you're going to hop out and you're going to fill up your inventory now just be aware when you fill up your inventory you want 20 of each uh, water yeast and barley in your actual backpack which leaves enough room to put the remainder or put the opposing out of the truck's inventory because you're going to fill your truck inventory completely with scotch so that way, when you pull it out, it gives you enough room when you run the scotch, you can actually drop the scotch into the truck and pull out the remaining ingredients that you need to run a next load. Um, so fill up your box truck completely and fill only your backpack up with 20 of each and you're gonna run or process your scotch. It takes approximately two to three minutes to distill that one backpack full of scotch, which is 32, um, because each ingredient weighs one, but it which is three ingredients and the scotch weighs three, so, uh, comparable to cocaine. Now, it took me about 10 minutes to run all the scotch out of my out of my truck and I'm gonna hop in my truck and leave. Um, make sure when you do, you pick up your scout or whatever and you, and you leave. Now you're gonna go to the house, I'm gonna show you here. Um, you know, I, I ran the entire run of scotch and it was about 128 scotch that I was able to run 
and one load. So it's gonna take you about two and a half, three runs to do an entire storage container full of scotch ingredients to run that scotch. And then you're gonna run up to these aging barrels and you're gonna drop, by pressing T, you're gonna drop the, uh, the scotch into the barrel. Each barrel holds 67 and it takes a total of six full resets to run the scotch to 25 year old scotch, which is the only time you wanna sell it. Otherwise it won't be worth it. Um, just ensure that when you do, two to three days later, um, each of those resets you need to have your storage shown or else it won't count towards the aging process. Now you see here I've got 67 25 year old scotch. Now this is the most dangerous process or the, the most dangerous step to the scotch process. Um, each of those scotches is essentially $958 in your pocket or in your box truck. So this is extremely dangerous. If you get killed with this, somebody lock picks your truck, and they basically take $138,000 off of your body. And you'll see where I mean by that in a second, which is the seventh step to sell scotch and the final step. Now you sell your scotch at Wong's Food and Liquor. Uh, this is a very dangerous area again, because you have a box truck full of scotch here, but you can do exactly what I do. You're gonna pull up to, <laughs> minus that. You're gonna pull up to the Wong's Food and Liquor. You're gonna hop out adjacent to that door frame and I'll show you why here in a second. You're gonna lock your truck and you're gonna have that backpack full. You're gonna sell that backpack full of 25 year old scotch. You're gonna turn around, and press T. Okay, this spot right here is gonna be enable you to be able to pull scotch, sell it, and be done in about 15 seconds. So you'll see here, I'm gonna sell it all. Double click on that item and it, it auto populates 84 or however much scotch is actually in your truck and it'll automatically cap your back out, bag out. So you continue to do that until you sell all of your scotch. I got one more load here. All right, take that and then sell it. Now immediately following the sale, get in your truck and leave as quickly as possible. Go to the nearest ATM and deposit because uh, you have $134,000, $138,000 sitting in your, in your backpack right now or on your person. So if somebody was camping scotch or wants food and liquor, they shot you, they essentially get that money right off of your body. So you gotta be careful. This is the most dangerous step right here. Uh, again, go to the nearest ATM. I like to go to ATM building here on the left. You'll see the white building. Um, it's just the closest one, but be aware, listen for vehicles, gunshots, or people in the area. And if you do hear them, just wing around and go to a different ATM. It's not worth it. The way I pull into the ATM is I come at an angle so I can use the box truck to shield my body. I go to the ATM and I deposit all. Boom, 132,000 done. Now this is uh, the eighth and final run of my scotch. I sold it all and I made approximately $540,000. That's a pretty good run. Again, every two to three days you get this done. And the best thing about scotch is it's completely passive. So while the scotch is aging during resets, you can you know run guns, cocaine, whatever else you wanna do. And, I, and I'll have tutorials on that in the future as well. So again, here's the million and I've got $400,000 in prestige. So I had about $700,000 before that. Now I've got basically 1.4 million, or excuse me, I had 900,000 and now I have 1.4 million or close to that. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, tune in for more videos here in the near future uh, for more tutorials on Arma 3 and hope to see you guys soon.